Okay, so potential energy, we're going to talk about. I'll start with the same familiar example once again to establish certain things. When we push, when we pull this block upward by a height h, the potential energy that this body gains is mgh. Now I'm doing it, we are doing it very slowly so that this body doesn't gain any kinetic energy. So what for that? At every moment, there should be balance of force on the body so that it is not accelerated, it doesn't gain any velocity and hence kinetic energy. So the external force at all times should be equal to mg. Work done by the external force will be mg into h, work done by external force. Work done by gravity will be equal to minus mg into h. We understand this very well because gravity force will be downward and displacement is upward. So it is displacement. If, if we are considering upward direction to be positive, then force will be negative or we are considering downward direction to be positive, then displacement will be negative. Whichever direction, whatever sign convention you allow, follow, this has to be negative work because they are opposite in direction. Fine. That's okay. So from here, we see that total work done is zero and uh, what I told you before we will uh, we have revisited it that the work done by the conservative force the conservative force here is the gravitational force we had the discussion before that the gravitational force is conservative force work done by conservative force is negative of the change in potential energy okay this I wanted to highlight one more thing that I wanted to highlight is when we displace this, when we when we displace the, this block by a small amount, then the work that we do is forced into a small displacement, f into dx. Now that work, actually, what we are doing, we are separating this block and the Earth system. We are putting some potential energy into the system. So this work will actually be translated into the potential energy of the block. So this small work, this small work will actually increase the potential energy by a small amount. This small work will actually change the potential energy by small amount. This external force into dx will be equal to du. Now this external force, when, when there is a quasi equilibrium state, when the body is not gaining any velocity, in that case, as we have discussed now, the force should balance mg. These are vector quantities, we also all, 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 always have to consider the sign of them. This force will be always equal to minus mg. This force vector will always be equal to the negative vector of the force that earth is applying. So f will be equal to minus mg, vectorially f will be equal to minus mg always. So what we can do is, this is the external force. The work will be done by external force and that work will be utilized in increasing the potential energy of the block. Now what I am doing is in a quasi equilibrium state where the forces are balanced, this external force can be replaced by negative of the internal force. Internal force here happens to be a conservative force. So I am replacing this F by minus Fc. Fc is a conservative force because they are equal but opposite in direction. So F can be easily replaced by minus Fc. Minus Fc into dx is equal to du. The small work done by external force is the small potential energy change. But the negative of the small work done by the conservative force will be equal to small change in potential energy of the system. This is very important, very important. Now from here, we are, all I will do is, we have talked before that for the first differential, the arithmetic, we use a normal arithmetic as we use for numbers. So this dx can be brought down and we can write minus fc is equal to du by dx. Or we can write force, conservative force is negative of the differential of potential energy. The differential being in terms of 
displacement. This is a very important relation that we have derived and will be will be using further. This is in chemistry and in in physics of the molecular level. This is a very very important relation. Conservative force is negative differential of potential energy, and this is easy to derive. Okay, we got it from here. The potential energy change is the change in is the amount of work done, and we have replaced the force by the conservative force, which is equal and opposite, and that's how it comes. Okay, now in case where the force is not linear, but it's a multi-directional force in three dimensions, if we can have a force like this, F is F x i cap plus F y j cap plus F z k cap. So it is acting on all three dimensions. So in that case, the same differential form of this equation could be written as F. And now I'm not using the C because it's understood this is conservative force. This conservative force is the negative partial differentiation of potential energy. Or we can use a one minus sign outside. Del U by del y j cap plus del u by del z k cap. Now we have seen this partial dif differentiation before, so I am not getting into it again. This is how, because if potential energy is dependent upon three variables, this is general way of doing the differentiation of potential energy. We don't write du by dx. We write du by dx when u is dependent only on x. When it is dependent on all three uh, dimension of displacement, this is the way of writing it: del u by del x i cap, del u by del y j cap, and del u by del z k cap. So this is just an extension of this. And the derivation of this would be exactly the same as this. We have seen work done in x direction. The same we can do the work done in y direction and z direction. And this parallel to this, we can very easily get this result. Okay. So we are going to work more on this.